like hammering those beyond weird. All right. This is the controllers tier list. This one I'm actually, of course, knowledgeable on more than like the all encompassing Mario Party knowledge that pattern things I have. Uh, switch controllers, these blow ass, terrible. I'm not sure what the, I don't know what the, this is also inspired by the, by the Wii U, because that has, yeah, the Wii U gamepad has a similar scheme of the, the two con uh, control sticks, D-pad and buttons, but they didn't transfer over well on the Switch. This is, these little Joy-Cons, terrible. Why is my camera such a weird angle? Like Kurt angle. X, this is Xbox 360. Yeah, this is the original Xbox 360. This one was really good. And I, I know it's good because my, the USB controller I have for my PC gaming is styled as Xbox 360. Literally like a one for one copy. Very good, handles well. Buns and everything, it's phenomenal. Original Xbox, I may have held this once in my life. Oh, wait a minute. Let me do something private for a second. Excuse me. I can't recall. I may, yeah, I may have held it once the first time I ever played an Xbox. It did feel kind of weird. Not as good as the 360 one, so B tier. SNES controller, love it. I've, I've always loved the super early control schemes because they're so simple. D-pad, one or two buttons. And of course, you know, start select, but my favorite, especially um, on the Game Boy, best application. D-pad, two buttons. I love the simplicity of it. Because, like, you look nowadays at a controller, you know, you know the old days, D-pad, two buttons. Now there's a control stick, another control stick, a D-pad, four buttons, two shoulder buttons, two triggers, star selectors. It's like there's way, way too much. They added way too much. It's not too much, like, to not be able to handle it, but... It's like it's just too much, too much sauce on the thing. Uh, this is a PlayStation 3 controller, I think. Uh, the only thing I don't like about PlayStation is this, is the buttons. X, square, triangle, and circle. I've always hated that control scheme. But it handles just as well in terms of being held. But yeah, the triangle, the shapes, I don't like them. Oh, a Sega Saturn. Um, wait, I have a Genesis. Yeah, I have a Sega Genesis. So the control, the controller looks very similar, with like the six buttons and the D pad that tilts barely. Uh, it doesn't. It doesn't hold as much because it's not form fitting. The Sega Saturn or Genesis controllers don't fit to the hand. It's just like a. Looks like a very thick, short, chubby boomerang of a controller. But better than PlayStation still. Oh, there it is, the Genesis. This one is the three-button the three one. There's also like a six-button model, because I have the six-button one. Uh, kind of the same. It's not as form-fitting, but still pretty good. Better than the, the Sega Saturn one. This is the original PlayStation controller. I like this one. I remember first playing one, I was playing a Bomberman game. Kind of nice. But still the fucking shapes. The shapes piss me off. But still more form-fitting, so. The point of a controller is that it needs to fit the hand. That's what we're using. Uh, this is a Switch Pro Controller, I believe. Yeah, Switch Pro. And it's basically modeled after the, this GameCube one here. 
it's almost a one it's almost a one to one copy besides like additional middle buttons here um which means it's it's it, which means it is a good controller i just hate the switch but i'm trying not to be biased here in terms of being a controller i'm guessing it's say B tier. It definitely fits more than Xbox. GameCube controller, obviously S tier. It is the best control controller ever made. The best. So much so that I, I have like two of them and a wave bird. Because that's how good it is just to hold it, get to the buttons, everything, it clicks, it's responsive, everything. The best controller. Oh they <laughs> It's a PlayStation controller, but there's no, it doesn't have any boobs. It's got its boobs cut off. It's like, it's, it's, it's like this PlayStation controller took off its push, this, its push up bra, and then you realize there's, there's no booby anywhere. There's no boobs. This one has boobs. This one, no boobs. I've never touched a PlayStation controller that didn't have the control stick, so. I, actually, I don't know. This is a, I don't know. Yeah, GameCube is amazing. PlayStation 2 controller, I believe. Also pretty good. Still form-fitting. It's, 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 it's the exact same as PlayStation 1. It's just, it's just reskinned to look black. They just made it black. NES controller, amazing. The only different, it's more amazing than SNES because it doesn't have the, the two additional buttons. It keeps the simple scheme of just the D-pad and two buttons. So it makes it, with, that makes it one and a half times better than the SNES. N64 controller, mm, in retrospect, it's not as good because, first of all, rarely do N64 games use the D-pad. Like, none of them. Almost none of them do. I can recall maybe one game. It's a mini game on Pokemon Stadium. It's not even the game. It's a mini game on the game. And the, the control stick was abysmal. Terrible. It was prone to becoming loose and shaky. So. But it, it still has a soft a, a place in my heart because, you know, the N64 console. One of my favorites. What's up, Freeho? S tier is GameCube, NES, and SNES. N64 is double S. No, I mean, I just listed out two reasons why it wasn't. The control, the, the D-pad, and the control stick. Two reasons why it's not double S. But it's still up there. You have four reasons why? Okay, well, on your tier list, you can put on on double S. This is my tier list. Yeah, I'll give you this. Put it A tier. How about that? Dreamcast controller. I have never played on a Dreamcast. Never owned one, never played one. I don't think I've ever even touched a Dreamcast controller. But I was thinking about actually buying one. Buying a Dreamcast console for almost no reason. Which I still might, depending on like what games I can get for it. It all depends. But yeah, I never used it. Objectively, your tier list sucks. <laughs> That's a matter of opinion. Wiimote and Nunchuck. I hated the I hated the motion controls on the Wii. It, it, it invaded too many games where motion controls were not needed. It didn't it didn't need to be there. The one example I do have is Lego Batman. You had to use the, the, the point on the Wiimote to like point your boomerang, your battering, whatever. But it was, an, it was a novel idea by Nintendo. I, like, I always appreciate an ambitious experimental project. Mm, at least mid eight here for those ones. Uh, this is PlayStation 3, I believe. 
I, I'm, I'm not a big PlayStation guy, I don't know. It looks the exact same as PS1 and 2, so I'll just put it right there, B tier. Uh, I don't know what this is. Is this a... It's an Xbox controller, but I don't know what it goes to. So I'll just put it in never used. This is, a, this is an Xbox One controller. Never used it, but it looks... It looks too strange. It looks alien in nature, and like not in a good way. The Wii U gamepad, I still own one of these things. Uh... It does hold kind of well. Kind of form-fitting. Obviously a bit bulky to be a controller. Mm, B tier. Alright, there we go. The objectively correct controllers tier list. You are not able to disagree with this tier list, of course. If you do disagree with it, you will be banned. Alright. Full Wings of Redemption style. I just, I never knew they made a PlayStation without control sticks. Wii Who? Wii U. That's who.